Good time, Hello and welcome to this one-on-one -on -one sports webcast. My name is John Hill and I have the great pleasure of being joined today by Kurt the Hurt Lesson and the always opinionated Christine Williams. Now as sports fans we here at one-on-one -on -one get into arguments about our favorite teams because they're sometimes bitter rivals. I'm sure everyone can relate to this same unrelenting hatred and occasional bloodlust of another team and their fans. So it made us think, what actually makes a rivalry? Is it just because it's always been that way or is there some substantiation behind it? So, I bring it to you two today. What actually makes a rivalry? Kurt, we'll start with you. All right, well, a good rivalry, okay, it either has to have hatred or respect or some kind of combination of the two. There has to be competition between the two teams, and there needs to be strong fan bases that can't stand one another. The teams obviously have to be successful, and they have to compete for championships or in the playoffs. You can't just have two really bad teams playing each other, because I mean, what, what's the rivalry in that? You have to have respect, obviously, but <coughs> fights, blood, brawls, between violence the teams? Between, between the teams or the fans? Teams and fans. you got to have fans. it all. You're just a violent person. I, I like this. It's scary, actually. <laughs> now, does, does the hatred need to go, is it just a small time period? Does it need to be over a long I time? I like my rivalry couple stuff lifetime? to have some, some history to it. Okay. And that helps with the whole overall rivalry But how long? Itself. How long? I mean, you know what? Some rivalry is okay if they're short, but usually the more history, the better. Okay. Yeah, same. It could be the duration of like one <coughs> athlete or something, okay. but some rivalries, you know, take Red Sox, Yankees, anything like that. Okay. So now that we've got a general idea of what we both agree on as a rivalry, what are some examples you guys can give me of average everyday rivalries that I'd go watch on SportsCenter when I go home? Uh, Christine? The best typical rivalry out there is Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer. Tennis. And yes, it's a, tennis. It's a gutsy call on this one. Because they're the top two players, some say in the world over <coughs> ever. They, for the past six years, they've been number one and two. They, it's, it's fluctuated a bit between the two teams yeah. or the two players, and they've just they played in the Wimbledon, French Open, okay. Australian Open, U.S. Open. They've both won in these competitions, while Nadal is known for being the best on clay mm -hmm. and Federer is known for being best on grass, they both sh have proven, because of their wins at both uh, events, that they can do both. Okay, and that, that's great. I understand what you're saying with Nadal and Federer, but my problem is, to me, personally, it's not a rivalry. It's a competition. Okay, that's what it is for me because they don't but hate they don't hate each other. There's no Nadal fans who hate Federer. That's not the way I look at it. The way I look at it is you go to the NFL, you go Patriots, no. Jets, no. two organizations that hate each other, two teams that hate each other. The they fans don't hate, hate each other. other. Just this they year. Do. Okay, 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 this okay. Year. Okay, I see what your point is, but Federer has been so much more controlling than Nadal, but and Nadal they have the history. I'm gonna go with Kurt. Jets and Pats have this one. You're I'm smart. Sorry. You're a smart man. It, you're right. But Federer has been so much more dominant than Nadal. No, she, so I got to go no, on to the next. Nadal no, no, been. we'll go on to the next one. Since both of you obviously disagree on everything so far, we're going to do something a little different that most people wouldn't normally see on television. We're going to go some atypical rivalries here. So I want you guys to impress me with these. Something I wouldn't usually think of. So Kurt. All right, I put a lot of thought me. into this one. And my atypical rivalry is Tiger Woods versus Jack Nicklaus. No! Why is it atypical? Though? You can't just say no, let me talk. Hear me out, okay? It's atypical because these are two golfers who played in different eras. And Jack Which Nicholas. Which is why they're not rivals. Will you listen once, please? That's all I'm asking for, okay? Jack Nicholas has the most majors in a career with 18 majors won. Tiger Woods has 14. He's the only man who can potentially catch Jack Nicholas to have the most majors ever won in a career. And that would be monumental because golf is a game of history. And whoever has the most majors won in a career can put themselves and solidify themselves but as the best golfer. But they didn't compete in the same era, so obviously but it's a rivalry Nicholas had it a lot harder than Woods ever had it because he Woods has no competition at all. Okay, now he does because he's. No, I think there's a reason he had no con he has no competition because <coughs> he's the best by far. Nicholas and the golfers Arnold are Palmer, so much better Tom these Watson, days. And the, the level of play is better in golf now than it ever has The technology was so been. much worse in Nicholas's time, and, and he's that's still why it's better now. Great, but it's not. Okay, it's but it's a rivalry Woods to see horrible. who can solidify themselves as the best golfer in the history of the game. And Woods will not catch N Nicholas. Okay, since we can't agree on Kurtz, what's yours? Mine is Celtics ver or Celtic versus Rangers. And no, I'm not confusing sports. They're two Scottish soccer teams that totally hate each other <laughs> because Celtic fans are mainly Roman Catholic and 
Rangers fans are primarily Protestant. And anytime you get religion into anything, it's got to be really. It's amped up times a thousand. Fans have been known to throw missiles and rockets onto the field. Missiles? To hurt. Yes. Like actual missiles. explosive missiles? Missiles. Like hurt the, the refs have gone to the uh, emergency room and players have got, had brawls on the field. It's a really intense rivalry. You must love that. And nobody that. knows about I, Yeah. I, I got to go with Christine Thank on you. this one because it's very different. It's Scottish soccer. Scottish. Kurt, have you ever Everyone. watched a Scottish no soccer? Cares. I have, and that's why it's atypical. Well, folks, I'm sorry. As much as I love a good argument, and we have one here, we are out of time. But if you want to catch more one-on-one -on -one sports action, check out our weekly television show on ESTV and our host of other webcasts on YouTube. Also, every Wednesday night, tune into WSOE 89.3 from 10 until midnight for two fantastic hours of sports talk radio. So, for Kurt Leston, Christine Williams, I'm John Hill, and until next time, whose side are you on?